Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to actually a place I've been wanting to visit for a long while now. We're going to a city called Subotica. We're very excited. It's basically on the north of Serbia, uh, about two hour ride from Belgrade. Yeah. And um, it's generally a beautiful city, a beautiful architecture, a lot of famous architects um, designed buildings there. And we're gonna drop by Palic, um, which is uh, basically a little neighboring. Uh, Don't neighboring. give away the secrets. Okay. No secrets. We're gonna have a few more stops. Enjoy. <laughs> So we have arrived to Subotica and uh, just came here and so far the architecture is really really beautiful. That building behind us, uh, what is it? It's called Reichel Palace and that's all I know about. Nice. <laughs> Except actually it's, um, the whole Subotica is known for it. In Serbian and German it's called uh, Secession, uh, like style of architecture and in English it's something in French that I'm not to pronounce because I don't speak French I speak only German, English and Serbian so we're sticking to a German and Serbian version Secesia or Secession Subotica is Serbia's uh, most northern city. Um, it's right on the border of, um, with Hungary. And um, there are a lot of Hungarian people who have been here for centuries um, living here. And that's why you will notice that all the writing is uh, both in Serbian and Hungarian. And I believe Hungarian is also official, well, obviously official language, but also it's taught in school as school subjects. Mm. Mm. Cool. Cool. The sun is out. Yay. So that behind us is the city hall. It's really famous. It's really a landmark. One of the biggest and nicest landmarks of Subotit. in the city center of Subotica, in the pedestrian zone. Uh, this place is recommended by a friend of mine, Mladena. Shout out to Mladena. Um, and the food here is delicious. Like, you'll be eating like a boss. The 
say it's Shabbat. It's not Shabbat. Yeah. But it's the Shabbat city, because it's called Subodica. Oh yeah, Shabbat city. <laughs> yeah, and now after we had some food, we can go to the synagogue, which is why we actually came, what we came for. Yes, <laughs> I had gin. <laughs> Thank you for that statement. <laughs> So something to keep in mind is that the synagogue is closing at 2 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. And we came all the way here not to see the insides. Do we have trouble? Probably vanilla. Disappointed by the unexpected closing hours. Disappointed and annoyed with ourselves. <laughs> yes. Oh. Ah, it's fine. It's really There's... annoying because I'm here like the second time and I didn't get to see the synagogue the first time. <laughs> and now I didn't get to see it again. Uh, I tried to see the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam four times. people we came to say I'm something <laughs> yeah it's the only people that watch <laughs> no some other people watch ciao, as well. mama, ciao, tata. <laughs> uh, somebody else watches as well <laughs> the other two people <laughs> <laughs> okay we came to palic palic is apparently a small appendix on Sobotica <laughs> but the good thing is that it has a lake. That's right. And it's very green. It's very green. And we want to come here for the weekend. We are here on the weekend. But like sleep. <laughs> Not now. Not now. Conclude our trip to Subodica. Um, Subodica is a beautiful city worth spending a day in, maybe actually two, and I think we'll actually do that uh, at some point in the future. And uh, it's surrounded with uh, some of the best that Vojvodina has to offer. Keep in mind that before coming, uh, one of the be most beautiful things is uh, the synagogue in Subodica. So make sure to check the uh, working hours. So on weekends it works until 2 and during the weekdays it works until 6 I think. What did you think? So um, we had a really nice time uh, walking next to Palic Lake. Uh, there is a lovely promenade um, and you can walk, walk uh, for a long while. Uh, we enjoyed a nice um, cup of coffee. Um, there are a lot of lovely restaurants here, you can go swimming, um, there are beautiful hotels, you can come here and stay for, um, for the weekend, for example. Um, you can drag brand boats. Um, today we didn't really have luck with the weather, although we brought our swimming gear, we wanted to go um, swimming, but in the end um, it was raining. But I think we're gonna come back. And Subotica was nice too. 
Um, and we're very sad that we missed the synagogue visit. Um, so I believe we will have to spend a weekend here. And another cool thing to do here is to visit uh, Zvonko Bogdan uh, winery, um, winery actually, which winery, is something yeah. um, I did uh, a couple of months ago with, uh, with my friends. And you get a tour of the winery, you get to try um, several wines, and you get to see how the wine is made. In general, it's a beautiful space. Um, we didn't do that today because David is driving and he cannot drink and it would be a bit boring <laughs> if I have to do it myself. <laughs> Um, but I think we'll repeat uh, this visit in a weekend uh, weekend form, and um, yeah. So. Yeah, definitely we'll we'll come back to. And to see the synagogue. Fill the blanks, yes. Yeah. Okay. See okay. you in the next one. <laughs>